and there's Ben King, former U.S. Ben, let's grab a word. You and Lawson, uh, certainly as Americans, this is it, the big stage. How you feeling? This is it. It's big as it gets in America. Uh, really happy to be here after uh, spring rebuilding in Europe, getting my face picked in, but I think I'm on a good level for California. And I'm happy. Hey, this sport is all about the magic that you guys create in Richmond. Ben is from Virginia. The World Road Championships for about 100 miles from where Ben grew up. When you were racing in the breakaway, coming up Libby Hill, I'm getting goosebumps right now. I, I can only imagine that in your career, how could you ever do better than that? Riding in the breakout worlds in front of your people, Ben. What a day, huh? Yeah, a lot of people out there. It's just really something I'll remember for the rest of my life. So, you know, we do this all over the world, and a lot of my friends, family, they still have never really seen what I do, so it's a pretty special experience. Hey, you're one of the few teams, uh, Cannondale, that has really uh, a rider in the overall battle, or at least our preview. We see Lawson Braddock is a guy to watch, and a guy for the sprints every day. To make your job harder? Uh, it gives me something to do every day. Yeah, no, I'm not just picking my nose on the sprint days. we got Walter to work for, and Patty Babin, and the rest of us coming for breakaways, and obviously we're lost in here for the overall. We've got, uh, we've got something, a card to play on every stage, so looking forward to it. Thank you, Ben. This is what's right about American Cycling. Ben King and the Cannondale team. Good luck out there. Phil Diamond right in the middle. Phil, a best day for Phil. It's probably loaded with cookies. It's actually more of a cookie carrier than a vest, I would think. Actually, doesn't really, you can see no cookie outlines, no, at least. Yeah, you don't get looking like that eating cookies. Too many cookies, so, I guess. It's funny, Ben and Lawson go back to the action team back when they were Trek Livestrom back in the day, and they met our podium presenters when they were 18 years old. Lawson, quick word with you. Hey, uh, welcome back to the U.S. Uh, it's got to be incredibly cool to not only be back, but be in for a fight for the overall. Yeah, coming back to Hampton Tour California is always the highlight of the year. Uh, it's my fifth year doing it, and I hope I can do it at least another five times. So I'm just really excited to be back on American soil. What do you miss the most? Is it burritos? Queso. <laughs> Queso, that's fair. So uh, I'm guessing then on a day like today, people always ask, what did you have for breakfast? Uh, probably about three hours ago, what were you putting down? Oh man, fortunately we have a great chef here and uh, that, that makes a big difference, but she threw down some great oatmeal, some eggs that are ready made for us, and uh, really just a lot of food. I and mean, we got to prep for not only today, but the next seven days as well. It's Barb Grealish, isn't it? You know you've arrived when you have a personal chef at the Tour of California. Oh yeah, this is the highlight right now. It's, uh, it's definitely great, great to be here. Brad, what do you want on your omelet? Uh, I think a little ham, maybe some uh, green peppers, onion, and a cup of coffee. Uh, just wheel that back, Lawson. Yeah. Oh, man. I'd just go for avocado. That actually it's nature's butter. Sounds right? good. Yeah. Greatest gift to man. Sounds like a kid from Texas. Yeah. Does man. Hey, Lawson, good luck out there. That's Canada right now. Brad, he was our best young rider uh, two years ago, correct? But he also was third overall when he was 21 years old.